Hey guys, just thought I'd do something different for the channel going forward. Uh, I'll still have my unboxings and if I can figure out how to upload some played videos of my games then I'll still be getting back on with that. Um, but going forward one of the extra features of the channel will be Lego displays because I've got quite a few sets now. So uh, I figure I'll give them a review, let you know the pros and the cons, whether you think it's worth it. If you're on the deciding factor of whether to get the set, it might be the thing that sways you. I know when I'm looking out for something new I like to get all the details. So sometimes an unboxing video or a show off video will help me decide whether I need it for the collection or not um, so this is the Endor speeder chase um, that happened in Return of the Jedi um, this is the Lego diorama sets now they are two years old so on this chain link of videos there are going to be some much older Lego sets there's also going to be some new ones so as the collections come out that I'm buying I will try and do videos and keep up but it's a question of whether I have the time to build the sets quick enough to do the videos so definitely keep an eye out um i usually do a mini little video on instagram as well so i'll ta tag that on the youtube channel it's already tagged on instagram to go through to the youtube channel to see the full review um but yeah just try and set up some new things so without further ado um start getting into this um so i have removed these trees because they do connect and click in but i pulled them out just so that you can get a better look at the design themselves so the cool features about this is the fact that the um, trees themselves have a lot of these eco-friendly plastic pieces that are no longer plastic they're like biodegradable plants so that's quite cool with lego designing it to do that um they've got obviously a little like moss growing up the trees there's always a pink brick which i find quite odd um but they could have just chosen a brown one but whatever works for them um so yeah and then you got the second one so this is one of the more fiddlier lego sets as you can tell by all of the um uh, what you call it green plants and little twigs that you had to stick down um, so the base itself um, you can see has a quote written on it um, so this is part of the diorama range that Lego started doing back in 2022 um, they've done a few licenses now so you got Star Wars you got Jurassic Park Harry Potter did one with Diagonon Alley um, Indiana Jones has one, and then of course there's Star Wars. Star Wars, I think, is the license that has the most, which they're up to five, but I believe there's actually a sixth one, um, according to one of the designers of LEGO, that said the Mediation Chamber technically is the first diorama set that with um, Darth Vader putting a helmet on his head, but I was unable to get that one, and the price of it shot up, so decided it wasn't worth it for the piece count. So one thing i do love about all of these ranges they all come with a quote like this one which is quick jam this com links sent a switch and that was luke skywalker that quoted that one uh one cool feature that's come with a couple of these now is to show off the anniversary of the film itself um you get an extra tile to display the anniversary um so with this set it only comes with three minifigures but a lot of the diorama sets are a specific scene so they don't come very heavy minifigure wise um but yeah you do get a stormtrooper on a speeder bike you get Luke and Leia um, pursuing him. And then uh, one cool feature that I loved with Luke was the fact that he's actually got a black hand because obviously he lost a hand and replaced it. And then you've got his silver one. It includes a lightsaber for him, but obviously in the scene it didn't have the lightsaber. And um, it's not likely that I'll actually take this and keep it stationary. So I've just popped it in his hand so it's got a place to go. Um, but overall quite fun but very fiddly set with all these mini studs and plants they were not an enjoyable experience to put down i will tell you that much but um overall love the set um the piece count was 608 um it is model number 75353 there will be a link down in the description taking you through to lego so if you want it um you can click on there and just purchase it um but uh, i'd also stress to have a look around in the marketplaces now that it's quite old um you might find that there's some deals going on on places like amazon or various other retailers so i'd say shop around have a look um maybe there's a deal to be had um it's always worth checking on the lego website first though because there's often gifts with purchases so spend over a certain threshold you get a free extra bit of lego and who can go wrong with that um but yeah overall uh i've got to say the set itself was quite fun um but i i did enjoy the trash compactor um, and probably even the forest end or that one would be uh, with Yoda's uh, shack much more of a tedious task but uh, I'll go and do further video reviews on those later on um, so look out for those 
um but yeah definitely check out the channel uh often i put little clips up on um, instagram just showing off and displaying the little uh thing with, usually with some music intact um so you can check those out if you just want a quick overview um just follow me there but yeah uh that about wraps up today's set so uh thanks for checking us out and uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and uh, follow for more cheers guys <laughs>